Treadway and his Iowa Hawkeyes were the highest scoring team in the conference in 1959. They tallied 119 points. Iowa possessed one of the country's top runners in Bob Jeter. Watch him go here as he shakes away from a tackler. Cuts inside and through Northwestern. Heads for the sidelines. 28 yards are picked up before he's finally stopped. Now watch this next play. Iowa in black. Northwestern ball carrier fumbles. Don Norton grabs it before it hits the ground. Slips away from two defenders. A teammate ambushes a man who is chasing. And he turns that wildcat fumble into a 50-yard touchdown. Iowa's brilliant passing quarterback, Olin Treadway, shows you his specialty with this long-scoring bomb to end Don Norton. Leaves the tackler behind and goes all the way. Congratulations. Now watch this heartbreaker. The Spartans kicking off to Iowa. Jeter takes it on his four. Starts up the middle. Makes a slight left turn past those potential tacklers. Outruns this Michigan Stater. Finally makes a desperation dive. Another man taking the angle on him. And finally drops him. Against Michigan State, Iowa displayed another great running back, Jerry Moran, around left end. Heads for the goal line. Touchdown. Against Ohio State, the Hawkeyes displayed the passing of Will Hollis. He hits Bill Whistler. Whistler charges and drives for the six points. Bob Jeter missed his old running mate, Willie Fleming, but Jeter still does better than well enough on his own. It was not a great year for Forrest Eveshevsky's battlers who finished in sixth place, but they have a nucleus returning that'll make Iowa a tougher team in 60. 